Hi, Peter Charles here from Hooked Fly Fly Fishing. And today we're going to tie a pheasant tail nymph in a Ural style, which means it's tied on a jig hook with a tungsten bead. The idea is this fly gets down, but being on a jig hook, it is going to uh, avoid snagging up on the bottom, and it's intended to be fished in a Euro style. So, okay, let's get going and have a look at the material. The hook is a Dohiku size 10 wet fly jig hook. And you're going to say to yourself, a size 10 for this thing? Isn't that a bit big? Well, the shank on this hook is not very long, and so when you're finished with this fly, it's basically a size 14 fly with a big gape hook. So it's not going to produce a large fly. Our uh, bead head is tungsten slotted, and uh, the thing about using tungsten um, bead heads is make sure you get one that's appropriate to the size of the hook you're using. Our thread is uni thread in a dark brown. Our wire is a fine copper wire. And we're using some Canadian tube fly peacock curl. Okay, let's get started tying this up. Put some wraps right behind the bead. Now, with your copper wire, come in behind. And tie it on underneath. If I just pull that back, I'm going to keep it down underneath the hook. And I'll explain why in a minute when we get to tie on the pheasant tail. Now I'm going to pile up some thread here, make a bump at the back. And the purpose for that bump is to splay the um, pheasant tail to give us a nice uh, looking splayed tail. Now get your pheasant tail and pick off three barbs. And of course if you end up picking off four it's not a catastrophe. Fish can't count. But on a smaller fly I like to go with three instead of four. Make sure the tips are aligned and then sort of set this up so you've got the tail about the length of the hook shank and tie it in at the bump. Now advance the thread. Now be careful with this next step, it's very easy to break the uh, pheasant tail quills. Barbs. Watch the point of the hook. up some extra wraps there. Half hitch. You can see I'm using a rotary vise here so I move my um, bobbin out of the way. Now it helps to put hackle pliers on the wire because the wire is slippery. Now we're going to counter rotate this. We're going to wind it in the opposite direction that we use to put on our pheasant tail fibers. And the reason for that is we want to trap those fibers down so when a fish hits it, it doesn't break them all up. Also, you'll notice that I'm coming up in front of the tail because I don't want to knock that tail crooked, which was the reason why we went underneath with the wire. I'll put an extra wrap behind the bead. If you find the wire sticking up, just push it down with your fingernail. And the last bit is to put on some peacock curl. We tie it in by the base. Just make sure you don't uh, tie in that white strip at the bottom. Don't overdo this. Just pile it up behind the uh, bead. Make sure you leave some body there. It's not a, a hugely uh, dressed fly when it comes to the peacock curl. Now the last step is to do our whip finish. And I'm going to come in with my um, water-based head cement. I'm just going to put a little squirt in at the back of the bead. And what that will do is that will soak in 
without covering up the peacock curl and uh, it'll hold it all together. So there you go, the uh, pheasant tail nymph tied in a Euro style on a jig hook with a tungsten bead. Uh, it's going to be a very effective pattern, you know, it always is, it's always an effective pattern. And, um, you know, fish it on a Euro style nymphing rig and um, catch lots with it. Cheers. <laughs>